Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a little game to break things up before we jump into the next big game after Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, I've kind of been struggling just playing games. This is like my third attempt at a game. Um, to, to kind of that I've considered doing after Mass Effect Andromeda. So hopefully I'll be able to play this, and then we, we can uh, uh, kind of um, get into kind of a big meaty game afterwards. He says, hopefully. Um, I don't know anything about this. I think this is kind of escape roomy, where you're like you're, you're locked in, and then you're, you're kind of locked in the room. You've got to try and solve puzzles to escape. I think. I don't know. That's all I know. And there's chapters, according to the achievements, which I sometimes look at, and I probably shouldn't. Um, right, well, any interesting options? Hints are on. Oh, that might be useful, actually. I'll leave the hints on. Um, and volume I'll fiddle around with in editing, so it doesn't really matter, because this is a decent sound for me. Ish. Um, mm, no, alright. Uh, new game. Let us begin. Loading. Tutorial. Click to begin. Click and drag to, move, to look around. Okay, so this is important. Double click on the envelope to focus on it. Slide the letter. Ooh, we get to control things. <gasps> it's got a key. You came. I knew your curiosity would get the better of you. Please excuse the mess. My housekeeper abandoned me shortly after the rest of the world. The answers you seek are inside this box, along with something else. Something they said could never be built. It is the only one in existence, and it is the key to incomprehensible power. This safe was constructed to keep it from lesser minds. I have every faith in you solving its mysteries. You always were the smart one. With this enclosed key, I assume this one, I gift you one parting favour. Keep this eyepiece with you always. Without it, you're as blind as the rest. The stakes are higher than you could possibly imagine. A.S. Key, key. Small brass key with an animal motif. It looks like a rabbit, kind of. Rotate the lid to line up the keyhole. Okay. Drag the key into the keyhole. Turn the key. Ooh, I have to control things like that. Open lid. This feels quite phony. Not not fake, as in phone-ish. Because there's a lot of... You're moving a lot of things around that you could just click on if it wasn't a phone game. But I don't know. Feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die. So we don't want it to get wet. Curious eye piece. I can piece I come to wear. What does this note say? Click the eyepiece to remove. Uh, feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die. Riddle, the solution must be here somewhere. Somewhere on the safe. Okay. Dusty old books, sorry. I don't think they'll help me here. And what about the letters? Alright, okay. Talisman, good game. Good game. Oh, no, no, no. A lot of symbols on. No, I still need something for this. It's just not. Lens. Okay, without the lens. Hello. If I had something to grip it with. So I can't unscrew that. Okay. Okay. Is this still the tutorial? I'm really confused. Okay. So. Hmm. Okay, so there's a, a lens somewhere. It's all around here. I don't think the books will help me at the moment. My goodness, I'm already stuck. How am I already stuck? So what's this? I don't know what I'm looking for, is the problem. 
and that's a hint. I don't want hints. Leave me alone. Can't look there. Right. Oh, hello. There's a line here. Somewhere here, somewhere on the safe. Does it mean on the safe? Air. I don't think that's the answer. Water. Feed me. Oh, feed me, it's fire. It's it's, it's fire. If, if, drink and I die. Fine, fire. Wood feeds it, but water puts it out. I guess I'd give it a push. Peculiar old key. Um, there's something unusual about this key. I should take a look at it. Click on that to examine the tutorial. Oh, we'll take the end of the key. Turn the intimate into different shapes. Okay. So we need to find a lock. Do I have anything to unscrew that? Does this unlock now? I, I there's there aren't any locks. Unless there's some, ah, oh, I see. So we're I think it's that one actually. There we go. An ornately engraved metal plate. The end looks like it could be could be used as a wrench. So we've got a wrench. Now we have this thing over here. I don't know if it's relevant. Ah, okay. So now we've got to do hooks up. Is it that one? No, it's not that. Oh, it is. More puzzly stuff. Oh dear, what did it say? Oh, I shouldn't have clicked. What did it say? I clicked. Oh, no, game. You've got to be able to let me get the stuff back, because I'm... But there are no markings to show the code. I need to look elsewhere. Okay. Right, so we're looking, we've got a wrench, but I don't know what for. Oh! Let's go around. There we go. Looks like it fits on the eyepiece. There we go, we've got, now we can click on this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's a line there. Hello. This is just what we want then. Is that good like that? Or is it? Ah, no, there's the ank. And then we. Oh, no. We need to line it up like this. With this one. There we go. Worked it out. Puzzles. puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. More puzzles. Well, well, let's take it. Let's take it out for a closer look. Chapter complete. Pleasing progress. But do you really think you've proven yourself yet? Okay. So that was part of the game, basically. Okay, so it's not really a puzzle. Oh, uh, thingy, escape room. These three seals stand between me and the content of this box. So, right, let's. Okay, I don't know what I don't know what these are. Hello. Star shaped indentation. Yeah, I thought it was an indentation. You're not telling me anything about those symbols. Okay, got it. There's a code. Ah, I get it. These link to these. So we're looking for like a crown type thing. There we go, that's a crown. So then we want to come back up here, and that's kind of a circle with two diameters shown, and that's number one, circle with two diameters. Circle with two diameters. Um, hello. That's really unhelpful. Oh, uh, 
I need to line these up to give me an idea of what the numbers are, don't I? There's a 5 and a 7. There's three lines there. That's the only thing I need the eyepiece for, so that's fine. Oh, right. So it's 5 and 7. And then we have to kind of... work these out. So that's... We've got five, that five and seven. Is that a two? So that's two. And I'm tempted to say three down there, but I can't get it lined up. So we're follow following this insane kind of logic that they line up top and bottom with roughly where they are. I'm trying to work this out, I'm trying to work out how best to line that up, but I don't think there's a decent way of lining it up. I think three though. Three might Oh that was six. Oh, and I can look through here, and I can see it's a uh, dancing man. Oh, is that a switch? I found another thing! Oh, hello. A.S. February the 11th. My research continues at a snail's pace. With these barbaric instruments, I can barely read anything at all. There is something there, between earth and fire, between water and air. I cannot see it, but I can see its presence, like the shadow of the object without substance, yet betraying the shape and form of that which casts it. It is the final element, null. It brings meaning to the rest, just as all the numbers of the world are meaningless without their zero. That's clearly wrong, considering zero is a much later invention. The circle are petty fools, blinded by their dark arts and their greed. Alchemy is not the pursuit of callow gold, it is the pursuit of this. So what was it? So it's between water and fire, between water, uh, between earth and fire, water and air. I don't know if that's relevant, but we've got, we've got a man on this bottom left. There we go. And we've got... There we go. A heavy cast iron key. There we go. I keep wanting to go back based on there. You're not going to fit in there, are you? Cog symbol, it doesn't seem to move. No. It smells of burning. Okay, you need fire. Oh, hello. we're doing next. Um, so we need to... Or is this... Or does, it, does it not work in certain situations? Right, so we've got to get the eye, which is, I think, that one. Oh, hello. Cowl. Um, I assume there'll be a clue to that somewhere. We need to get into here. This doesn't work. Is there somewhere up here with a, something to make me look in the lens? No, there's and there's nothing. There's only this symbol which we've used and the star which we've not used yet. I mean, the only thing it's really lit up is down here. Hello. I don't think the key's used for this. Nothing for that. Hello.
Winding mechanism, there should be some sort of key. This is a key. So we need to find a key. Right, I'm assuming it's a word. I should probably actually make a note of all the letters that we have. Right, we don't have F, which is what my first thought was. Oh, oh, they're all the same. Okay, that could be useful. But the problem is that means we could have duplicate words. Duplicate letters. I right, beg your pardon. Um, they are C maybe they're in alphabetical order. So we've got A C A C E. I K L. I don't know why I'm writing these down like this. Uh, but I am writing them in right. O R T W. R T W. Right. Um, there's a lot of different words they could be, so it's possible, unless, between earth and fire, between water and air, so we've got E-F-W-A, so E-F-W-A, let's try that, E-F-W-A, which we, no, we don't have F, Gurg. Gurg. um, Null. No, we don't have N or U. It's not G for gold. It, we don't have a G for our, for the possibility of gold. Hmm. And there's nothing there. We have a key and nothing it unlocks. I mean, this doesn't do anything else, does it? There's nothing it won't do. We have burning here. We can't slide that up. I'm assuming you do not go there. No. Right. Acre. I mean, I could go through all the word, possible words, but that's making an assumption that this is a word. Water. If we're thinking about... We're working with elements and alchemy here. That would be an R, but there is no R. Hmm. Right, hang on, hang on, there's a... I have a book! It seems very ornate. No, no, no. Find a way of unlocking. It. Oh, right, I see. Okay. So, should we go around like that? That allows that. So that unlatches. February 11th! My research continues at a snail's pace. These barbaric in instruments. Oh, it's the same, same message. Oh, okay, so we, we just, we've just stuck that in, have we? There's a key for winding up clockwork. Brilliant. It's just what we need. 